year. I mean, it's incredible. We've got so many great teams, that's for sure. But we're looking at new tournament structure. We're looking at new equipment upgrades. With the Richmond Major coming up this weekend, Roundnet is back. In a couple of years in the making to have Hilltop They're back the together, back on the Pro Tour. Got to be the best season this sport has ever seen. Welcome to the Richmond Major. We've got 233 teams signed up, and we've got five pro bids on the line. Today is the tone setter of the season, which is the part that makes it the most fun because it's anyone's game right now. We see so many players, so many different parts of the country that are paying attention to the game, that are keeping up with the meta, that are watching and examining the other players so that when it's their time to play these games and these big moments, they'll be ready. This is an opportunity to show that you're one of the best of the best. Everybody's here. There's a lot on line. This is uh, yeah, every angle. <laughs> That's the right answer. Classic roll. <laughs> Check it in. I can take it next. Oh, thank you. Okay. We, we're vlogging today. Are you? Yeah, we already started. Whack. I got a big comeback story to tell. Max and I both do, actually. We both tore our ACLs playing the sport, so Max did it back in 2018, and I did mine in 2021. So this is the first big one back for me, and feels like feels pretty unreal. I gotta remember to stay, stay grounded, remember just how hard I've worked to get back to this point, you know, to be able to put cleats on. I'm excited, I mean, today's a special day. Today is a year and a half in the making, not only for Cole, but for the two of us, for Hilltop not our first rodeo dealing with this kind of thing. So feeling all the emotions, the nerves, the energy, the excitement, and just here to have a great day. Hey, apparently there's a big party in the place tonight, eh? Woo! <laughs> Don't put that in. I mean, I grew up playing soccer at this field. I, I work here over summer, so this is literally like a second home to me, especially over summer. So winning a pitcher here would be like, really meaningful to me, especially my first major. Um, so yeah, man, I think I want this more than anyone else on this field today, so. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take my 11th pitcher. Covers, <laughs> Fadula another chance to put this game away, and he does! Looking forward to another day at Richmond. We've been here before, last year. I won with a mashup, and two years ago, Joe won with a mashup. So uh, it's hollow ground for sure. This is also where CS got their third. Playing in my home state is a big deal. It's also where, where I played my first STS tournament. I got second place in intermediate. So I'd love to, love to have a better result on this field in a higher division. Yeah, yeah. better than second and better than intermediate would be great. <laughs> yeah. Premier for women's advanced and for contender, you're going to be good to go and head back to your respective fields, and play is about to get started. Can I get one final round of applause for the Richmond Major? <laughs> Super excited to play today, guys. Go out there and have a blast. It's pretty electric here. There's a lot of teams, a lot of good players. Uh, our personality is, I don't know, I guess, I guess we're going to find out. But uh, we got a lot of chemistry. Like I said, we've been playing together for a while. So we're just coming to play and have a good time. But uh, do our best to get the pitcher. Oh, okay. I've been thinking about this for months now because <laughs> I've been playing with Thomas for for years. We haven't really ran like a big tournament before, only Midwest ones. So I'm really excited. I, I really have high expectations for this year. I think we can do really well. We beat a lot of teams. We just gotta play our game. I think we can beat anyone. Yeah. 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 Let's go, dude. Come on. We haven't played together yet this year, but I think we'll pick up where we left off. Yeah, we're one of the few teams who's coming back this year, and we both our skill level both has been increasing separately, so I imagine we should be good again this year. Come on, Will. Oh my gosh. 
Yep. You again. Oh my lord. Yep, oh, yeah. oh, oh no! <laughs> Jeez. Alright, holy. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, Grant. Come on, you got me. You. Oh, oh. Buddy, great hit. I think the most fun thing for me has been watching the meta progress and seeing everyone get better. And I'm just kind of curious where it goes, so I'm following the rabbit hole. That's about okay. Come on. Set, come on. It was our first game back, first series back after a year and a half. So 22-20, 22-20, and we're playing like that. Yeah. You know, we've got a lot of upside and just got to yeah. keep the foot on the gas. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I got you. You need to cut off angles when you're rotating, and that's why we got burned a lot in game one. And then game two, I had better footwork. I was just missing the ball. But it is a tough, like, there's a balance to strike. You got to stay close so you can cut off the angle, but not too close, because then you get burned by the speed. And that's what happened to me in game two. So I got to figure it out. Can we get some water? Not really. I don't want to sit here. Okay. Point seven. Yeah, service. Go! Oh, go, 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 go! Oh! Good play. Oh. <laughs> Good. Right, big holds? Yeah. Eight point. Yes, no, First. Hey, let's go! Come on. Thomas and I are very similar people. Um, and we also live like really close to each other, so we just build like a really good connection on and off the court, and that goes really far. Pool play is all wrapped up, and not a single team has emerged undefeated. The big surprise, though, it's Rogue and Elixir claiming the one and two spots. Noah Luskis, he's been having a heck of a season so far. I mean, the sport's just getting better, man. There's just, people are getting good, you know? People are grinding and they're trying to get better, and I mean, just every part of the sport is so much better from when I started. We have a lot of like really uber talented people in this game now, which is really awesome to see that they can just come in and um, they can kind of set the game ablaze with just their talent. But that's just not me. You know, work ethic is the only reason that I'm standing here in the position that I am today. It's because I, I work really hard and, and have for several years. I heard you're nervous, extra nervous. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, yeah. I heard, are you on the opposite side of the bracket of me? What's up? I think you're on the opposite side for me, right? Hopefully. Yeah. Thank That's goodness. Good. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Bat combo rogue finals would be so electric. Yeah. Let's make that happen. Yeah. It'd be honored to play. Yeah. Be sick. The real motivation is just like, you know, everyone wants to respect, everyone wants to honor, everyone wants to sit at the top. You know, help you feel incorporated into a community like, hey, I'm one of the competitors here in this season, in this grouping, and you know, just trying to show everything you got. And that's that's really what it's all about, is just fighting. Very energetic. Uh, we're both pretty vocal, I think, and yeah. um, 
if a byproduct is the team we're playing doesn't doesn't like that kind of energy, if that's something, then so be it. We didn't really find our defensive stride at the beginning because they kind of did strangely. Rem was very technical and flicky while Caleb is bombs, but we hit some really good serves and that was enough. There's $2,500 and a hell of a lot of bragging rights, and I mean, I might be more interested in the bragging rights. Some pieces look great and some pieces are coming together. I think I'm showing a bit of rust. Spotless are definitely coming out as one of the fan favorites today. I think on the field as well as off the field, everyone loves Ryan Gross and Joe Bondi. This would be an incredible way to start the season, taking a pitcher on their very first outing as a team. How fun would that be? We're so locked in. Robo is a pitcher collector, man. I, I want to be a partner that he like keeps getting them with. I don't want to let him down. I don't want to let myself down. Um, I got some family that's going to be here today. I, I really want to like show them about this sport. And I mean, we have a one-day tournament today. It's going to be packed, and everyone knows I, I love the energy. I love the crowd, and I love the cameras on me. So, trying to get there. Yeah. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. Yeah, everything from here we just gotta, yeah. it's just gotta be, it's gotta be on the gas. Yeah. No easy points from here on out. What is this? Hilltop is, in my opinion, like the rally team. They're like the most recognizable remnant team of all time. Definitely think that mean brothers has a chemistry thing, but it could be low-key a downfall because they're brothers, they get mad at each other, you know? Like, siblings fight. So, I guess that's what we'll try to bring out of them in this game, but <laughs> we'll see. We were hard on ourselves in the first matchup against yes. the Garboys, which we narrowly lost both games and extras, and we've progressed a lot, I think, in the last six or so games since then, and we definitely just evolved already. Cole Modell with the die. Great to see him back out here in Richmond. Crowd coming out in full force to support the Hilltop Boys today. Strong pull from Max, but Matt Cole is right there, and with a quick put away, that'll be it for Game 1, Kingdom Come on top. Big rip, tough proceed, but the dive from Cole, it does it, and Max just hangs on. Hilltop will not go down without a fight. Goes lefty and a monster lefty ace. Hilltop cannot receive Grant Clapp right now. Nice receive, in system set, and Matt Cole with a rip to put that one away. Pushing Kingdom Come into the quarterfinals, and in doing so, ending the run for Hilltop Spikes here at the Richmond Major. It's been a couple of years in the making to have Hilltop back together, back on the Pro Tour, but it's gonna take some time before we see them really make a run at these tournaments. That was a good series, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. We did a lot of things well. And then missed a couple sets, at least I did. Really, sort of game one. We need a game one, if we had game one, I think we'd take the series. Well, let's get the next one. Serious, like it was just this last one. Two up. Yeah. Service. Yeah. Got you. Come on, come on, here, here, here. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on. Ryan Gross to serve, 16-20, yeah. game yes, one, looking just out of reach. Needs to make something happen I'm now. Here, I'm here, I'm here. Over his shoulder, quick hit no, from Will Piconi, and that's going to wrap things up in this first game. Bad combo. They really just kept on the gas. When I'm in a game, I'm blocking everything out. It's just, there's no one around. Like, it's just me, Will, and the other team. 
Um, and I think that's what it should be like. Like, just focus as much as you can. Uh, play your heart out. Game two, where bad combo are looking to continue their hot start. We hope a county is go. looking in form here early in game two and just can't be stopped. Spotless has no answer on the receive. Will, he always plays like he's got a little chip on his shoulder, but today, I mean, this is just another level. I know he's got his family in the crowd. He's got a ton of supporters out here in Richmond, and he is looking to do this one for them. Not seven. Yeah. Will to serve. A good one, but well received by Ryan Gross. He'll sneak that one away in a much needed hold for Spotless. Throws in a couple of fakes. Big one from Bondi there, exactly what he needs. These two teams are debuting on the Spikeball Tour Series today, and this is some of the most high-level round that we have ever seen in a quarterfinals, no less. Yeah, the thing he's gonna have to keep doing. Can he continue applying that kind of pressure? Look at that. Joe with another one. Serving from a different spot here. That ball is going on the exact same line. Lefty, righty, he's got it both ways. Joe is on a roll here. Joe Bondi. So dangerous because when he gets hot, oh, he catches fire. Look at that lefty ace. Another one, make it three in a row, forcing the timeout for bad combo. Bad combo wants nothing to do with it. They're going to call the timeout, try to ice the man on fire right now, Joe Bondi. And you see him coming alive here. All smiles for Spotless. Yes, sir. Oh. Reverse from Bondi, big boom from Mahul, but wait a second, what a touch from Ryan. The lefty, yeah, come on, that come ball's on. not gonna come back. Spotless, do it again, what a break. Ridiculous hands from Ryan Gross, inches from the net. Get Spotless yet another key break. Good grief, that's disgusting. Coney is in shambles there, falling to his knee and has no answer on the serve receive after starting out the game, oh so hot. Spallis have stormed back now in the lead in what could be the closing point of game two. Nice receive. Body on, up. Yeah, yeah. A chance now for bad combo. The backhand is there. Ah, but so is Spotless. A nice put away from Gross, just sneaking through the other side. And that will wrap things up for the second game. Spotless take the lead and take the win. And they'll send us to game three. Once. Yeah. We're rolling into game three of this marquee quarterfinals matchup, and Bad Combo and Spotless are leaving it on empty. Spotless and Bad Combo trading blows left and right. This series is giving us everything. Let's go, Will, come on. You're that guy, come on. I'm with you, we're together. Yeah. Come on. Seven, eight. Yeah. You got it, come on. Yeah. Let's go. Serve there, but a touch again. Bad combo, hanging in. Oh my God, Spotless, they're getting up for this. Bondi, see ya! That ball's gone. Spotless are feeling good. The crowd know. Another drop for Ryan Gross. My goodness, inches off the net. No chance for Piconi. Joe is having an absolute blast out there. Look at him smiling, just basking in it. Game's on the line here. It's do or die for bad combo, and Will Piconi's got a chance to make something happen. Come on! And he strikes exactly when he needs to. That's one. A chance to stare down Ryan Gross once more. Service. And he does it again. Will Piconi doing exactly what he needs to. Murthy trying to keep Piconi fired up, encouraging his teammate, trying to wheel him across the finish line in game three. Takes both ways, a big one, barely the touch, that's not going to come back, and Will is going to do it again. We are tied in game three, just two points away from that winning mark. 
Bacconi a chance to send them into the semis. Goes righty this time. Ryan gets a hand on it and just gets it back on, just in the nick of time as well, because Will was on one. 2019, Joe needs to close this one out now. He knows that bad combo are hot. The serve is bad, but they're going to play this one. Game out. What a touch. That ball is up, and that ball is gone. Not even the dive from Will will get there. What a series from these two incredible rosters. Spotless have fought for every single inch in this game. They'll come out on top and they'll work their way to the semifinals. The ending of game three was insane. Like it was just close the entire time. Um, definitely should have put that hit away. Like that was unacceptable. Uh, won't happen again. And, and then we win that. We win that series. So. I really wanted this tournament. It's the beginning of the season. It's in Richmond, my hometown. I mean, there's not, it doesn't get much better than this. My family's here. I really wanted it. And yeah, we just got to move on. It was a good ass tournament. It, it was. Don't matter. Yeah. We got, what, 10 more, I think? Are we still playing or not? Taking a look at the rest of the bracket, you've got Rogue and Bothouse in a three game shootout where Rogue takes it convincingly on Six the back five. of a lot of serving Six. pressure. It's too easy! Yeah. Judgment Day started slow but finished strong with a 21 14 victory over Cigar Boys. They will see Rogue in their semis. And on the other side of the bracket, Elixir and Kingdom Come, the only quarterfinal that did not go to all three games. Kingdom Come wrapping up the games 22-20, 21-16, and they'll see Spotless in the semifinals to see who pushes it all the way home. These are tough tournaments to play. Hey, it's a bunch of really good teams, um, and you gotta be on every single game in order to, to make it farther, and uh, unfortunately we didn't quite have enough uh, in the quarters against Kingdom Come. I feel like we've just been getting better as the day goes on. Um, we're really grateful to be in semis right now. We are. We're very happy. So it's going to be hard to put down our spirits. We're very happy. Yeah, I've played against Kingdom Come a couple times. Played against them in Columbus last year and lost in the major. We have some experience playing big games against each other, so it should be a lot of fun. I found myself getting in a comfortable stance against Rahul finding where his widest cut and widest reverse were going. Now you got to reset those boundaries and, and shift where your starting point is. The job's not finished. Going into this game with Rogue, we're going to be really focused on receiving them. We know they're a pretty sloppy team, so putting on the pressure with a high percentage is going to be paramount. Semifinals, Kingdom Come spotless. And Grant Clapwick with a monster ace. Kingdom Come, they're feeling good. Fred brings a lot of intensity. I really like it. I, like, I, I feel like I feed off of it, and it's a really good, like, back and forth. Body up from Ryan, the set from Thomas is clean, and that ball put right under the arm of Gabe Fanaki. Rogue take game one over a strongly favored Judgment Day. What a strong performance of Clapwick there. If he's staying hot from the serving line, there's no stopping Kingdom Come. Oh my word, Grant Clapwick is having a day right now. Ace after ace by Grant Clapwick. Spotless needs to figure out their service here. Judgment Day Rogue Game 2. What a different story it has been. I mean, Rogue, they poked the bear, and Fred and Gabe, well, they've come out of hibernation, baby. They are here to play. Just putting up ridiculous numbers in Game 2, stomping Rogue 21-13. I feel like I haven't been on any of the games, and we still won one. So I think as soon as I'm on and you're on, we, they, they can't get us. You can always get them back, you know. Yeah. We're dangerous enough. And Joe is going to kick off game two with a bang. That's back-to-back -back aces for him. 
Spotless is fighting fire with fire in game two, going for the ace ball as Joe Bondi leads the way. We could just move on to game three. I think we're done here. Joe Bondi has made that very clear. Spotless have kept it clean throughout this second game. And that means we are going the distance. Game three is upon us in both of our semifinal nets. Good cut there from Fred, but that ball going over the shoulder. Soft touch opportunity here for Gabe. Ah, but he just shorts it. And it's the final call for Judgment Day, but Gabe Finaki is into the rim for a double fault, and Rogue is going to move on to your finals here in Richmond. With a dominant finish in game three, Rogue have punched their ticket to the finals. They are going the distance. Not good. Yeah. Very frustrating. Oh well. Better luck next time. Yeah, I don't have much to think about next time. So we got the ball in the hands of Matt Cole. 19-20. They need a break to get into extras. Big swing. Oh, yeah. Joe eats it. Good set. Yeah. 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 You're insane. Yeah. Lucy made him, made him run. That was hard for him. That's pretty fun. All right. Well, we got one more game to win. Or no more series. We started with 200 teams coming in. We now have just a few that remain. Here on the Premier Nets, we are looking at our grand final between TRP Spotless of Ryan Gross and Joe Bondi against Rogue, Thomas Hamilton and Ryan Marino. They've been through the gauntlet today. They've been playing since 9 a.m. and they are ready to get themselves yes. that top spot. Yeah. The title for the finals, ace or be ace? Yes! They're searching for that coveted first place pitcher the prize money and the points that goes along with it. There it is again, it's the righty this time that does it, Joe Bondi, not so much my friend. It's gonna take more than that to receive Thomas. He does it again, it's the lefty, recovered now by Bondi, this one is possible, but here it goes, Ryan Marino, a clean put away, no problem at all. Here we go, time for Spotless to answer. Yeah, don't forget, we've talked all about Rogue. But don't forget Spotless, don't forget Joe Bondi, who is going to start things off with a bang as well. Joe Bondi says, I got a few of those for you, too. I got a few of those in my bag. Let's get it going. Drop. Yep. Drop. Oh, shit. He's going to stay straight. Yep. Thomas is going to get that one on, but a great touch from Ryan Gross and, and a lovely away. flick to get that ball away. The drop shot king. It's Ryan Marino's turn. The Livonia, Michigan Rogue boys, they're up by two. To extend that no! lead, and Ryan Marino will do it. Yeah. Oh. Golly, it's just next level stuff. This is literally next level serving at this net. Everyone here just so defensive minded as well, but I mean, when you look at their serving, when you look at their ability to get the job done from seven feet. The crowd hypes me up. We're kind of used to that in Michigan. We have the loudest guys. Yeah. We're always screaming. Even at practice, we're just getting loud sometimes. So whether they're against me or for me, I still love it. This is still game point. Game one, not goes quite. Up. Game on the line here. We got to see uh, see what Joe's made of. Yes, yes. Thomas really wanting to yes. play that one. And the lefty yeah. push will be his shot of choice to seal game one. Let's put Rogue round net on top here in this premier final. We've got TRP Spotless. They're gonna need to make a comeback in game two. We've lost 
every game one in the quarters and semis. We're making a few adjustments on defense that should go well, and we had one error that caused three more breaks, and we lost 21-18. So I think if we play the same exact game without that error, we win, and we're going to do even more than that. So I feel confident. They're a very good team. They could turn around very easily, so we just got to keep the pressure up, keep playing as good as we've been, and I think we can lock it up. Stay calm, stay in control. Yeah. We're heading into game two. Spotless backs against the wall. Have to pull something out here to send us into uh, the third game because, let's be real, we won it. We want game three. This night is perfect for round two. Yeah. Here we go, Joe. Reverse, but again, handled by Marino. No. Weird set, bad set. I gotta get my leg yeah. open again. A combination of really good teamwork there to find the space and get it around the Ryan Gross defense. Oh no? Yeah, service. That's it. Whoa. Good touch though. Yeah. Yeah. Up in the sky for Thomas Hamilton. There's the backhand to seal the deal. And a break for Rogue to kick off this game too. Yeah, really wanted to compliment uh, Joe Bondi's recovery set there off of a, a, a decent serve receive, uh, but Rogue, Rogue's too sharp right now, just too sharp. Righty reverse, jamming Bondi up, Ryan Gross forced to go on two, now Marino with chance to put this one away, and that's going to work. A gentle shot into the body of Ryan Gross to get another point for Rogue round net. Eight, six. Reverse from Bondi, it's so well so played, and that's just not enough. It's unbelievable that it's not enough. How are you supposed to get a ball past these guys? I, I really don't know, and kudos to Thomas Hamilton there, dropping an absolute dime piece set over the net, clean put away, and, and a point. Thomas Hamilton, yeah, he just does it again. There is nothing to stop him, as Rogue will look to further this lead. And Ryan Marino to end it with a bang. He nearly will. Joe Bondi though, lefty pull. That ball there we are. Still on, a long Joe. way to run. Is there a little magic? Come on, Joe. Can he find the magic? Awkward receipt, but it's good enough. Touch up though. Have to get Gotta have go to for get the hinder play. there. Or not. That's an active call. Ryan Gross, I think he agreed that he did not have the play on it. Okay, I think no, he acknowledged that. I mean, we're dealing with good, good honesty. That he was he was not going to get there. The hit from Thomas Hamilton was just good enough, and that will do it. Rogue round that are your Richmond Cheers. major champions. They put on a heck of a performance all day long. And we've had a heck of a day all day long as well. We've got all of our divisions finally wrapped up, and Rogue will take home the top spot. Spotless, they'll have to walk away with the second, but they still get to walk home with some glassware and a pro bid for the championship. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Oh, dude, that's so, I'm so happy. Played amazing. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. I can't believe that. <laughs> uh, what motivates me to play? I don't know. Just being at the top level, like I know that we can like reach the the top. You know. I've never been like that close in it, like really anything. So it's like to be a pro in something is like motivation enough, you know. What up? Yeah. Hold on, <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Ryan's out here. Ryan's doing an interview, bro. We're interu interrupting it. Let's go. The whole squad here, except for Ryan for some reason. I don't know where he's at, but uh, got the whole squad. <laughs> this is why we're as good as we are. This is our squad. They keep us humble. And they're just, I don't know, that's what we got. <laughs> All right, one more, one more, one more, one more. <laughs>
I mean, honestly, I feel like I still got a lot of shit to work on. Um, I want to be the assistant touch. I want to be the number one team. So I am happy, but, you know, there's a lot more. There's a lot more season to go. So just a little victory. Clink. Love getting pitches this time of year. <laughs>